these two are going to turn into this. So I'm making this mallet for Bob Claggett in honor of his uh, grandfather who was a maker and uh, who made a bunch of really cool carvings of fish. So I figured a big bobber uh, mallet would be appropriate. Um, obviously it's not going to be this big. I'm going to cut these down. But the goal is to make it look like this. This will be our top cap once we shape it up a little bit. say that is not coming apart. So far every mallet that I've made I've used blueberry wood as the handle and this is no exception. This is a nice straight piece of blueberry wood that I picked out. This is a piece of red cedar that I cut down myself several years ago and I'm going to take off a little chunk of this and we're going to make a collar
now that I have the handle all sanded and ready to go, and I've got it marked for the collar here, so what I need to do is I need to figure out how to drill this out. This needs to be perfectly round. 11 16 is the circle that gives me the most material for the handle. Um, unfortunately, the Forstner bit that I have that's closest to this is 5 8 <clears throat> which means that I'm going to have to pick up that slack. sanding and chiseling on the handle and the collar. I got them to fit, however, um, the collar did crack. It's actually cracked on both sides, but it didn't come apart. This doesn't really matter since I can actually glue these two pieces together. They will support each other, and then on top of the fact that once it's actually in the mallet, the collar is not going to split apart. The whole point is they fit. Now it's time to make them look a little bit nicer. Now that we have the collar all shaped and sanded, um, what I'm going to do is before I glue these, I'm going to put the Brie Wax on the outside of both of them so that way when I glue it, if there's any squeeze out, the glue should just come right off. Thank you. 
Did I mention there's this thing about polishing HDPE plastic? It doesn't like to be polished. I actually think that's making it worse. So it looks like using some 600 grit sandpaper is helping. More than the scotch Brite pad anyway. Looks whiter. Well, actually, it's not perfectly white either. It's weathered. That's it. I weathered it. You hear that, Bob? It's the weathered look. I meant to do that. So, in order to make a little hook, well, the hook comes, hook comes out of the bottom, but there's a little part of it up top that attaches to the little hole there. Focus. Anyway, we need to have a little piece of metal come out of here, and since this is to honor Bob's grandfather, um, I thought it only fitting that uh, we have something from my grandfather in there, and this copper wire was around uh, a drain pipe over here. Let's take a little trip. This drain pipe, I just replaced, uh, this was wrapped with a whole bunch of cloth and rubber and a whole bunch of other things, and a lot of it keeping it on was this copper wire. Uh, and I know that my, my pop-up had done this. He, he, there's a, I'd seen a lot of things that he did. And um, anyway, I saved the wire. We're gonna take this copper wire and we're gonna fit it into the top of the mallet. But then I'm also going to use it uh, as a through wire to lock in the handle. Uh, instead of using like a, a nail as a pin, we're gonna use copper wire. made this hole just a little bit too small because what we're going to do is we're going to heat this up with the heat gun and then when I put it in it's going to melt the plastic as it goes in so it'll hold itself in. I actually think that this little, having like a little loop up here is kind of cool. It's kind of like a little, you know, you could hang it. The thing is, is that I really want this to sink in. I don't want it to come out. All right. And I get a little solder on there, but that's okay. Just kind of adds to the flavor. Glue still has a ways to go, but it doesn't matter because once we put it in the mallet, that will also hold it together. So, we're gonna do it in stages here.
course, the test wouldn't be complete without a nail test because these things are super, super hard, even though you really wouldn't nail anything. We're going to nail something. And here we have some two and a half inch bright smooth shank nails. I think one ought to do. There you go. It nails.